Hello everybody, this is Tito Miner and welcome to the part 5 of making a sliding puzzle game in Unity. In this part we are going to create a high score system for the game. In the previous parts we created this panel so when player solves a puzzle, this panel will be displayed to him. And there is a text in this panel that shows the player his time. I added another text that says your time, you can just add it right now. And I also added two other texts that says best time, the first one says best time and the other one is for the time. And these two takes are inside an empty game object. So if I disable this game object, both takes will be hidden. And I also added one more text that says new record. When player breaks his own record, these takes will be displayed to him instead of the best time. There is no score in this game, so we have to save the best time instead of the highest score. So let's open the game script. First of all, we need a game object variable for this new record text in here. So we need a serialized field game object variable. So we can just write new variable in here. Let's add a comma and let's try the name of the new variable in here. Let's name it new record text. It equals to null for avoiding that warning. Also, we need a text variable too for this best time text in here because when player score is not less than the best time we have to show him the best time. In here we have a serialized field text variable so we are not going to write it again. Add the comma and write the new variable's name. Let's name it best time text and let's say equal to null. Okay now we have required variables in here. Now when player f uh, solves the puzzle in here after showing him his score first of all we need to load the highest score from the player perfs. Yes we are going to use player perfs for saving and loading the best time so when player closes the game and he uh, and returns to the game the highest score won't reset. For loading a value from player perfs let's write int best time equals to we have to use player prefs dot get int in here we have to write the keys name let's write best time we are going to save the best time inside this key and yes this one returns a single integer and that integer contains minutes and seconds we need to separate them later and now we have the best time also we need to calculate the player's time in seconds we have to add minutes to the seconds let's write integer player time equals to a dot minutes multiplied by 60 plus a dot seconds and that's it now we have to compare the best time and the player's time let's write if player's time is less than best time if player's time is less than best time it means player broke his own record so we we're going to show him the new record text let's write new record text dot set active true and also we have to save his score inside the best time key in player prefs so let's write player prefs dot set int we use set int for saving the value set int we have to write the key name best time and now in here we have to write the value best time and the value is player time and that's it, when player breaks his own record, we are going to show him the new record text and also we are going to save his score, save his time inside this best time key. But if player time is not less than the best time, we have to show him the best time. Uh, we are not going to show him new record text, we have to show him the best time. And for that, for showing the best time, we need to separate this best time into seconds and minutes. So let's write int minutes equals to uh, let's say a best time divide by 60 and for seconds let's we have to say int seconds best time minus minutes now we have to show this sec minutes and seconds to the player so let's write best time text dot text we have to use the same format as we use in here so let's just copy it and let's paste it in here and in here we have to write minutes and seconds instead of a dot minutes and seconds so let's just remove a's mm -hmm. that's it also we need to enable this best time game object in here to show the player his best time but we are not going to create a game object variable for it we are going to disable it using best time text so let's write best time text dot transform dot parent 
That best time game object is parent of this best time text, so we can access it. And in here, we have to get the game object from the parent. And uh, let's say dot set active true. And that's it. let's save it. And there's one more thing that we need to do. When player is playing the game for the first time, it means there is no value inside this key. And this key doesn't even exist. So we have to write in a statement in here if player prefs dot has key, has key returns true if a key exists and there's a value in it and it is going to return false if there is no key with this name if has key best time if there is a key inside player prefs name best time so let's just load the value from it and let's put it inside this best time variable but if there is no value inside best time we are going to say int okay we need to move this base variable out of the statement in best time now we have to set the value in here best time equals player perfs that get int if there is a value inside best time so let's just load it and let's put it inside this best time variable but if there is no value in that let's write best time equals to multiple nine and are we doing that because it's not possible for player to solve the puzzle in this time because it is more than hours so when we compare players time with this player's time going to be less than this number for sure. So for the when player solves the puzzle for the first time, he's going to see the new record text. And after that, uh, after the first play, when there is a value inside the best time, the game is just going to load the best time inside this best time. Now let's go back to the Unity editor. In here, select the main camera, we need to assign the new record text and the best time text. This is best time. Let's drag it in here. Let's enable the panel and let's see. Okay, this text game object is a new record text. So let's just assign this to the new record text variable in here. Now let's disable this text and this panel. Also make sure that shuffle is commented in here so the puzzle won't get shuffled. And let's play the games and see what happens. Okay, when player solves the puzzle for the first time, it is going to show the player a new record. And when player solves the puzzle for the second time, like this, and if his time is not less than his own record, it's just going to show the best time in here. For checking the high score system properly, I'm going to solve the puzzle myself. So first of all, let's clear the player prefs because the best score saved in player prefs is one, one second, and I can't can solve this puzzle in one second. So we have to clear the value inside the player prefs keys. So let's click on edit. And in the edit in here, there is a option named clear all player prefs. Select it and this clears the values inside player prefs keys. Now let's uncomment this uh, shuffle calling in here and uh, let's save the script and I'm going to solve the puzzle. Okay, I solved the puzzle in one minute and nine seconds. Okay, I'm going to solve the puzzle again and see what happens. Okay, this time I'll solve the puzzle in uh, around two minutes. Okay, it looks there's a problem in here. Ah, uh, yes, we made a mistake. We have to uh, remove minutes from the best time, but we have to multiply minutes by 60. Let's save it, and you can see it worked great. I'm going to finish this part in here. We create a high score system for the game, and it works good. I'm going to create a menu for the game in the next part and I think the next part is going to be the last part of this series. If you liked the video and learned anything new, like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, I try to answer them. I try to upload the next part soon, but maybe it takes a month or two because you know I'm lazy. So thanks for watching, see you in the next video.